Hey, I'm Lindsay Vaughn I'm here in Whistler, and I won the gold medal in the downhill on Wednesday. Um, I crashed yesterday in the super combined, but um, we have another race coming up on Saturday uh, tomorrow, which is a super G, so I'm really looking forward to that. How do you prepare for it? What do you eat? Do you have any rituals, like wear the same underwear? or? <laughs> um, I have some superstitions and some rituals that I do before um, every every race. I kind of wear some colors, you know, I have these Under Armour turtlenecks and I really like the pink and, and white turtlenecks so I'm kind of superstitious about that and then I have um, some necklaces that my family gave me. I've kind of loaded up my neck with, with all sorts of necklaces and, and that seems to, I don't know, help me mentally. Um, feel like I, you know, everyone's with me in the starting gate but um, you know it's I think the bottom line is no matter what you're wearing you have to still ski well and um, and that's what I'm trying to do here in these Olympics. Now you have a homeopathic remedy of cheese on your knee and everyone's talking about that. Do you have any other homeopathic remedies? Um, yeah I mean I always try to use something you know natural to, to make me feel better whenever I have an injury so you know the cheese therapy has been working well but I also use castor oil um, just slap it on there and um, put some, you know, um, like a plastic wrap over it and it seems to, you know, really take the swelling down and um, it, that one came from uh, my husband's mom. She always, she's from Norway and so she has all these, you know, old school tricks up her sleeve and, and that always helps. And do you have any tips for first time skiers out in the slopes like, you know, how to really start or, you know, what to watch for or anything like that? Um, I mean, for people who are just starting to ski, I think the, the main thing is start off slow, you know, just take it easy and, and um, just try to do, well, I, at least when I was a kid, I always did, you know, pizza or french fries, and <laughs> I think start off with the pizza, you know, your skis in a wedge, and then as you get better, you know, progress to the french fries, that always seems to work for me. And you're known as the sex symbol for the Olympics. <laughs> what does that feel like, and do you feel any pressure? Um, I don't know if I'm the sex symbol for the Olympics, but um, you know I'm, I'm flattered that, that you know people say that, and um, I'm I'm just trying to ski the best I can. You know, above all, I'm a ski racer, and um, I'm just trying to set a good example and um, you know be who I am. So um, hopefully, people see that and, and they can see my personality. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know if about the sex symbol part, but <laughs> a ski racer that's that's what I am. What do you do with all your medals? Um, well, right now my gold medal is sitting next to my pillow on my nightstand, and um, I just like to keep it close. You know, yesterday it was a disappointing race when I didn't finish, and, um, you know, my husband said, well, put this on, it'll make you feel better. So, um, you know, even if I don't win any other medals at these games, I still have that gold, and um, no one can take that away from me. So you kind of had a little medal therapy? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. I mean, I think that the gold medal therapy is... Uh, the best homeopathic remedy you can get. <laughs> How does that medal, the, the 2010 uh, Vancouver Olympics medal, compare to the other medals that you have, like in weight and feel and look? Um, this, this medal that I've gotten here in, in Whistler is, um, it's the heaviest medal I think I've ever won, um, and definitely the coolest. Um, you know, it's really unique, and um, I mean, it's an Olympic medal, so it doesn't really get much better than that. And you've won some fascinating things, like you won a cow, <laughs> yeah. and now you have five cows. And uh, where are the cows? What are their names? And have you ever owned any any pets like that before? <laughs> well, yeah. So the one cow that I won in, in France that that turned into five, you know, my my cow just kept having babies. And uh, the the first one, it came, she came to me already named. So her name was Olympi, and it was right before the Torino Olympics. So you know, they named it after the Olympics, and then. Um, the next cow was Sunny, and then the next cow for that was Karin after my sister, and then uh, Don and Shirley after my grandparents. So I kind of been sticking to the, you know, naming cows after my family members, and I also actually got a goat, um, you know, it was a present from me from a town in Austria, and I named that Laura after my other sister. I don't think my family members were that excited about me naming cows and goats after them, but, um, you know, it was my way of, you know, having my family members with me in Europe, even though they weren't there. Um, and, you know, growing up, I just had a dog. His name was Thunder. He died, though. Um, so I'm not really used to having, you know, big pets. But I have to say I like it a lot. <laughs> Do you visit them often or try to? Yeah, I try to visit my cows as much as I can. I mean, it's, it's tough with my schedule. You know, I don't have too much time. But um, whenever I'm in Austria, I try to swing by. And 
Um, I've only milked them once, but um, I definitely brush them and pet them and feed them. They always like eating, so it seems to be a good way to get on their good side. Can you talk about cool pin trading? Because I know that the U.S. flag is, is a really hot thing, and just kind of like talk about what, what, why people pin trade, and do you pin trade? Well, I have this really cool pin, actually. Um, I got this yesterday from a fan, and uh, he said it would bring me good luck, so I hope it does. Um, but I, I like the pin trading, you know, I, I did that, um, you know, when I was a junior racer. Um, actually, we had a, it's called the Whistler Cup, so um, last time I was here, I was pin trading with all the other nations, and I think it's just a fun thing that you can do, you know, it, it um, I think it, it creates good conversation with other nations, and, um, you know, it just shows the Olympic spirit. Yeah, and for uh, for the people at home, can you tell us some type of Lindsey Vaughn secret or some type of secret for the USA? <laughs> Any type of secret that you've got, or um, like what kind of secret? I don't know. Anything you just want to share? Um, I don't really have too many secrets. I mean, well, what's that like not having any secrets? <laughs> I think pretty much I. I mean, I I tell everyone everything there is to know. I mean, it's I don't I don't keep anything from anyone. I'm, I'm open about, you know, how I feel and what I'm experiencing and my past experiences and, um, you know, who I am as a person. And I think um, that that's good. You know, I, I, I'm not a secretive person and um, I want to, you know, share everything with my fans and um, that's just who I am, I guess. Hey, I'm Lindsay Vaughn and I'm here in Whistler. Got the gold medal in downhill and uh, go USA.